Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sorajo of Movie Musings, and today I'll be reviewing Battleship, which I believe is supposed to be released May 18th or something like that. But I um, I got an opportunity to check it out early. Uh, so it's based on the Hasbro game Battleship, which I never actually played. But I guess the premise of the game was to like move your ships on a board and sink as many as your opponent's ships as possible. So this kind of plays out in this movie. Um, it's kind of an end of the world movie. The reason I was really taken aback by the initial trailers is because it just reminded me too much of Transformers. And Transformers was like last summer. And it was like, I didn't want to see another Transformers or another movie where robots were like transforming and stuff like that. Because I remember in the scene in the trailer, there's a, a point where um, a soldier touches like something that appears to be the cube. It looks similar to the cube from Transformers. And then it opens up and it has that ridiculous mechanism sound that constantly on Transformers that goes like... So, um, anyway, back to Battleship. So, it, it was a good story. It's a, another end of the world story. This seems to be the trending um, theme for all these kind of movies because, I guess, I don't know, maybe the writers are just lazy or it's just easier this way. But, yeah, it's an end of the world story. An alien race comes to Earth and they intend intent on pretty much bringing the entire fleet or the entire country to, to Earth. So, they're these uh, Marines. I mean, not Marines, uh, the Navy. The Navy plays a huge part in this movie, more than, you know, usually you see movies and it's usually um, infantry and um, infantry, Navy SEALs, Army, but this one's specifically geared towards the Navy, and anyone who likes um, war games will particularly like this game. I, I don't, I'm not really fond of war games myself. I do like dog fights and I like um, combat. Um, um, ground fights, but um, naval, naval battles are not really uh, my interest, but um, so this movie is um, these Navy ships are uh, strategically placed within the water, and they, they figure out there's a pattern to the way in which the alien ships behave, and they use this pattern to kind of like predict where the alien ships are going to be, uh, and then they strike them. So the goal is like pretty much the goal of the Hasbro game is to sink as many of the alien ships as possible in order to declare victory for Earth or for humanity. And um, Rihanna was in this movie. The entire time I was watching this movie with my brother and I was like praying that Rihanna would get killed. I don't know why. I think it's because I was just annoyed with her character. Uh, she was saying she had like ridiculous punchlines and um, she managed to live throughout the entire movie. Normally when you see these um, singers or um, performers turn actors in movies, they usually don't live throughout the whole movie, but she lived throughout the whole movie, and um, I can't lie, originally I was just like, just like um, nonchalant about this movie, and I was like, but by the end it kind of like pulled you into the excitement of the Navy, of the Navy battle, and um, you know, to the excitement of actually strategically finding these ships and blowing them up. Uh, overall, I would rate the movie. I would rate the movie a B plus. Uh, it wasn't a horrible movie. The plot is predictable. Like I said, end of the world. We have to save humanity. Um, so I would rate it a B plus. And um, I guess if you want, you can go check it out. Uh, I can't really say that much more about the movie. It's pretty straightforward. If you've ever heard of the game, you'll get the movie altogether. And that's it, I give it a B plus. Anyway, thank you for watching us here and take care. Bye bye.